So this is called a cardio net? Yes. Okay. This young man uh, is two years old? Two. Two. And um, when did he first start having this episode that looked like a breath-holding episode? He was about 10 months old, the first one that we noticed. Okay. So today he presents to the ER because he was jumping on a trampoline and he fell off the trampoline, he let out a cry, and then turned blue in the face. Yes. Okay, and this sounds just like a breath-holding episode. Mm -hmm. However, what you guys know, based on a cardio net, kind of like a Holter monitor, is that he actually goes very rapidly to a bradycardia, or a slow heart rate, and then he goes into asystole. Yes. He just, his heart stops beating. Mm -hmm. The reason I want to do this teaching video is because breath holding spells are out there a dime a dozen. Mm -hmm. This sort of thing is, is, is really concerning. Today though, when he went down, he turned blue in the face, but then he also had uh, some posturing, like mm -hmm. his hands clamped and um, did his eyes roll back in the head? Yes, um, his hands clamped and he went extremely stiff. Um, he arched his back and um, he had the eyes rolled to the back of his head and then um, he went limp after that. He went limp, and how long was he out then before he? Um, probably about a good 30 to 45 seconds. Okay, 30 to 45 seconds, mm -hmm. so he was completely out. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, wow, wow. He started breathing again in, in how, about 10 seconds? Or? Yes. Okay, so he wasn't like not breathing for that long, but he started No, breathing. yeah, he was just out of it. Um, he was breathing, but he wasn't- um, Alert? Or? Alert, he couldn't respond to me. He was kind of starry-eyed, um, kind of like he was drifting. Okay. Um, or very confused. Okay. Um, but he wasn't responsive to me calling his name or um, trying to talk to him. Okay. Did he have a, like a diffuse pale color to his skin? Yes, he was very white. Um, and um, the last time it happened, he got very sweaty. Um, but this time, we um, I couldn't tell if he was sweaty or not because okay. we, it was raining. <laughs> I know they, I saw in his record, they did an echocardiogram that was mm -hmm. stone cold normal. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing there. And uh, nobody in your family has anything like this, right? Nope. Okay. So how, how many episodes of this has he had? How many episodes? Um, so whenever it first started, whenever he was about 10 months old, it was about one a month. Okay. Um, and initially everyone thought that it was at that point just breath holding. Yeah. Um, and then it started getting more and more frequent to about two a month. And then whenever I finally brought him to the doctor, it, he was having four a week. Four a week. And oh that's my goodness. whenever I, I, I could start piecing it together and start noticing more because it was more normal. So yeah. I could notice um, I wasn't freaking out as much yeah. and I could notice more yeah. things. Um, and I, that's whenever I started noticing that something was off. And he was about um, probably 19 months at that point. Okay. Um, hold on, buddy. And um, that's whenever I took him to the doctor, and um, then they they immediately sent us to the cardiologist. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it is interesting. He kind of acts like it's a basal vagal sort of presentation. My son, who is now a PA, but um, would pass out at the sight of blood, and he would do the same thing. He would actually have tonic clonic sort of behaviors for a few seconds, as at, when he went down, then he'd wake up, be completely pale. So this sounds very basal vagal, mm -hmm. uh, very similar to what my son did. But my son never had any rhythm abnormalities, never turned blue or anything like mm -hmm. that. So um, yeah, they um, they said that his normal heartbeat is abnormal. Like um, even whenever he's just resting, his heartbeat um, sometimes is abnormal and sometimes normal. He has a, his EKG today has a. Uh, a sinus arrhythmia, but his heart rate's about 89, mm -hmm. which is probably, I think, a little bit on the slow side mm -hmm. for someone who's two years of age. Mm -hmm. um, I knew something was wrong whenever it was happening four times a week. Yeah. Um, he would get scared in the yeah. middle of it. And whenever I went to the cardiologist, I said, something's wrong. He knows something's wrong because whenever he, he's, whenever he stops breathing, he gets scared. Yeah. And um, I could yeah. just see the fear in his eyes. And that's whenever she said, um, that she'll monitor monitor him. Yeah, and that's whenever she was like, "Yeah, something's yeah, <laughs> something's up." So. Yeah, yeah. For him to go from uh, from a relatively normal heart rate 
to complete a systole for a period of five, six seconds mm -hmm. uh, with some escape beats. That's what was described previously. So, yep. um, yeah, thank you so much for letting us do this video, and, and I think it's going to help some people out there.